Hello and welcome. Silver is here with Mercury Online. So first of all, this is live streamed at the same time as I record it. So there might be some interruptions as I interact with the chat. All right. Well, this is me playing with bells for my Warhammer 2 Cs. I'm going to do theory craft bells for these things, the Warhammer 2 Cs that I own. I figure I might as well record this for YouTube. Um, in case this helps somebody out there who is a little lost or whatever uh, for when it comes to actually coming up with bells for your Macs. Because frankly it is kind of easy to just grab a Mac, uh, slap a weapon in all of these slots and run around with it. But that doesn't mean that the build is good or workable or whatever. Uh, I would say that you needed to put in a little bit more thought uh, to it. Also, do know that all of these are completely skillless max still. I have not played them, I have not allocated any skill points, anything of the sort. And as such, um, that will affect some of your builds. I'm gonna start with some of, with the basic Warhammer uh, 2C. Um, one thing I did uh, already was uh, I maxed out armor values on all of these things. I swapped the armor values to the ones I will, uh, you know, run. Uh, and then I'm going to downgrade from here as necessary. Um, and you are seeing that correct. Three back armor. That's what I run basically majority of my 80 tonners. So, yeah. Uh, if you need more, that is entirely up to you. I wouldn't recommend going for much more than that. Because you're sacrificing so much more of your frontal armor. Alright. So, first of all... Uh, these things nicely come up with all of the upgrades. I don't need to have to, you know, toy around with those. Um, two ways I uh, think of going for a build. What I usually personally like to do is... I like to mess around with the engine first. Uh, figure out, okay, what is the speed I want to aim at? And something like 65 kph, that might be very reasonable speed. This is a uh, going to be a laser vomit build, though, so uh, very likely, um, very likely, uh, this is gonna go up. As in, I'm going to end up using a bigger engine because energy weapons don't wait a lot. All right, so let's play around with this. Uh, looking at just the hard points, there is one missile hard point which I'm going to completely ignore. Uh, when you have one of some kind of a hard point can usually pretty much ignore it when you have a bunch of others. Because let's say, um, just a simple example, let's say I just stick in a one missile. What is that actually going to do to, for me? Probably nothing. In case, uh, instead I can use that tonnage uh, to give me something else entirely. And this looks like a very feasible laser vomit belt, so let's mess around with it from that point of view. Like, let's say, uh, two large pulses and, uh, just mediums? I mean, this could be workable. This leaves me a lot of free tonnage, though, so let's have a look at it from another perspective. Because this is seven energy hard points, right? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. So, um, that... It's a little bit of an awkward number to play around with. 8 is the one you really, really want. Or, um, in case 6 is the other one. Maybe like this. Maybe maybe this is better? Alright, let's see. Um, let's play around with some heat sinks. Still going to need a bigger engine on that. Uh, something like 350. I like to play with the... Uh, um, with the exact numbers first, uh, which where you get uh, extra uh, heat sinks or he extra heat sink slots, 325 to 350 to 375 down to 300, so on, before I jump on to uh, toying around with the ones uh, uh, aside of that, you know. Alright, so let's drop that to standard and then we can start smacking in a whole lot of. Heat sinks. Alright, drop half a ton and we can fit in one more heat sink. This is going to be very heat man manageable and we're going to be running a lot of bloody heat sinks on this thing. Maybe, maybe this can run uh, uh, bigger things. 
it's very likely can run bigger things than this. But I think this is a um, this is a good starting point for this mech. I think I will try it out like this, first of all. I think this this might very well be the starting point where it's like, uh, all right, this is the build I'll do. I actually don't have a spare XL 350 engines, and I probably don't want to buy one now. I'll just steal one from a previous Mac. Um, now, basically, uh, half a ton uh, empty means just drop half a ton of armor. And smacking one more heatsink. Like so. This is uh, uh, the simplest way to make bells. I like to, mess, like I said, I like to start with an engine personally. Unless I have some very wonky weapon combination I want to play around with, and then I'll fit, uh, see about fitting the weapon combination and get the engine. But I like to manage the speed first, so that I reach certain speed thresholds. Uh, overall, I am liking this. Alright, let's reset the damn thing and play around with it a little more. Alright, because the other obvious one which is just jumping right at me is to do this. Is to do this, alright? This requires smaller engine. Do we need this small? No, we can go still 325 I think. Yep. Can still do 325 with that. Can actually probably go 350 still. I would assume. Yep. So this can still run a 350 here. Something like that, we can, can drop this again. Actually, there is very little reason to drop that here. Alright, as a, as a starting point, that is fairly nice. There is uh, uh, three tons of uh, uh, free space at the moment, which we can... Um, we can fill if we really want to. Uh, backup lasers for the PPCs. Not really worth it, in all honesty. Not for clans especially. But otherwise, if you look at the heat management and the amount of heat sinks we have here, this is really nice. So basically, just need to fiddle around uh, uh, to get these three tons um, filled up. Because never... Well, this is my opinion anyway. Don't ever run mechs which are something like this. 77 out of 80. You're missing three tons of possible components you could do. This could this could be just a straight up bigger engine. I mean 350 we have three, to, three tons to play with. We could go up to 370. Uh, as in 375 engine. Which I actually have a bunch of anyway. So we could do this. This might actually be very workable. Yep. All oh, right. Kill the armor. All right. That is one fast PPC boat. Wow. Okay. Um, eighty toner with four ER PPCs. Nothing else. And XL375. Alright. Alright. Okay. Um, That's that. So. Large pulls, medium pulls, laser, laser vomit, and, 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 um. Four ERP pieces. Both seem very reasonable builds here. Um. What else can we do? We can do a, uh, using that engine, likely. We can do also uh, something completely else. Where is heavy larges? We can do like heavy large, heavy medium setups. 
This is going to uh, not use the head laser hard point though, so this is probably not worth uh, worth doing. This is actually also an XL400. Um, oh, this thing cannot run XL400, I didn't realize that. Alright, which means that we have way too, ma way too much uh, free space, free tonnage on here. So, um, since this cannot use the head uh, um, laser, can we even make this build because of no XL400 here? Um, this is no ghost heat belt, this one. Uh, I mean, you can do other things if you can, if you want to be able to make a mess around with ghost heat. Alright, so basically what this requires, this build, is a bigger engine. So 375 up to 385, that would be it. and a half. alright, this build is not really doable on this particular mech. Alright, not really an issue, but it's just, an, uh, just a simple idea. Because, 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 all right, interesting, interesting. Okay, so basically, uh, um, large pulls, medium pulls, or four PPC uh, on this thing. Moving on, let's hop on to the next one. Oh, okay, five missile hard point one. All right. Uh, one thing which right away comes to mind is just doing it like this. This is something like an XL300. Uh, uh, this is where you see the difference. All right, I had an idea for weapon systems, and then I'm worrying about the uh, engine afterwards. All right, so for this, we probably don't need a tag. Uh, what we do need is an active probe of some kind, and then we need a whole lot of ammo, and we need those heat sinks. Um. This is nowhere near enough ammo. Um, we need to drop that. Um, let's put in two heat sinks. Let's mac in a, a, a light tag and work on some more ammo. Double heat sink. We can do. Um, this can run. A, 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 we have five. Create slots left, which is actually interesting. We have that few of them left. That's fine, though. Um, technically, this thing could run uh, now a um, a backup laser, like let's say a, a medium laser, and we would still have two slots left uh, for more ammo. I mean. This could become a light laser, a light tag, this could become a, a, a small laser, a micro laser, and this could be, uh, and we could fit in more ammo. Uh, heat management is kind of workable, sort of. This could become a light active probe as well to fit in more ammo. Alright, as an idea, as a concept, that seems kind of nice. Um, five. Five uh, uh, missile hard points is kind of useless. This doesn't have enough other hard points for me to do something like put in, like, I don't know, five streak sixes. How big an engine can this run? Actually, let's. How big an engine can this thing run? Okay, th th this is going to be silly. Please don't build this at home. I mean, this is going to be a absolutely. Silly. Um, like so. Active probe in the head. Something like that 375 engine. Wait, what? Ah, okay. Now it's correct way around. Um, need. Five tons of ammo for five mi uh, launchers at minimum. Then could run uh, medium pulses in the arms and fill the rest with heat sinks. I mean, seems sort of workable. 
but overall very undertoned. This is the sort of build you can almost do, do on a storm crown, or rather you run the five streak sixes with a, like a, a laser in the head and you have a storm crown, and it goes faster and actually does something. Um, whereas this, this is just a silly gimp gimped idea. The, nope, not worth it. So, um, yeah. That fifth, uh, um, hard point there, not much of use in all honesty. Of course, the other choice is to do something silly like long range missiles. Maybe with Artemis even. Like. Four, uh, four LRM-20s with Artemis. Some kind of a small engine, a tag, a light active probe, a bunch of ammo. This would be like an XL-300 engine build as well again. No, this can actually run bigger, right? XL-325 build. A tag, uh, need to drop this. Alright. I'm not a fan of these four LRM-20s, but I mean, I can see it. I would rather than run the four ATM-12s myself. Alright. But overall, uh, that's the build idea. Four ATM-12s, I think, is what, I, what is going to be run here. Alright. Moving on. The Warhammer 3. Have another laser vomit set up, huh? Exact same... The uh, hard point set up even. Wait, is that true? Wait, w wait, what? Does this thing have exact? Yeah, well, there is this one missile slot which can go, go, go somewhere whack because it's a useless, pointless one missile hard point. Don't do anything with it. Um. So basically, same builds. Okay, that means you can. Uh, that means I can do the uh, four um, ER PVCs on one, and do the uh, large pulse, medium pulse, vomit on the other. Huh? That seems reasonable. It seems mighty reasonable. Actually, um, let's mess around a little, like. What if I did um, heavy larges with uh, ER mediums? The sort of builds you will run on a Hellbringer. Let's standard that. Uh, something big, 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 uh, like 375. And then just fill in with double heatings because. Um, you know what? This might actually even be workable. So, a proper laser vomit. Hmm. Gets tonnage limited unless, unless do something silly like this. You know, with, with a, um, with a, with a, with a... Oh god damn it. Need to move one of those around, huh? Wait, what? Ah, right, right, right. It doesn't wanna play around with those f with me today. Sticks the structure like that instead of like doing it in the center, uh, center torso like I was hoping it would. All right. This is one ton be below uh, below limit still here. Um, overall, not worth it. I mean, looking at it, not worth it at all on 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 an 80 ton assault Mac. I mean, you can do this on a 65 toner. No point to it at all. So basically. Just the, the energy hard point ones will have to be four ERPBCs and large pulls, medium pulls, both. Technically, I could exchange these for large pulses and it would work. That is still also a um, 
build you run on a 65 ton mech. Not worth it. Alright. Something more entertaining, like this. Alright. What would I run on this? The hard points are all over the dang place. Wow. Okay, so first thing which comes to mind is... Um, Ghost Rifle Arms with... Uh, blazers. This is like the first thing which pops to mind, which is probably a bad idea. Or like a bad thing that it's the first thing which pops to mind. But, uh... Can this still run an XL325? Yes, it can. Alright. This is actually... Going to work quite nicely, even. And then drop enough armor to get one more heatsink in here, I think. Hmm, that might even work. Might even work. That could be nice. Be quite nice. Um, Alright, that is a possibility. I actually like ghost rifles personally in arms more than I do in torsos, because as soon as you... Well, the armor is gone, you get hit in the torso, the ghost rifle explodes, and you lose the entire damn torso anyway. So, yeah. Um, so from that point of view, that seems workable. How about something completely else, though? This is probably not doable, um, because of the uh, ghost heat on that stuff, but this might be doable. Right, uh, some really small engine with that. XL300 maybe? Yep, that seems reasonable. And then we do... Uh, actually, let's leave the Artemis away for the moment first, because this is this looks very crit slot limited. We'll probably need to drop that. Um, Alright, um... can go larger engine, huh? 325? Yeah. This can go that far. Alright. Although if I go 325, this starts looking very ammo limited. But I kind of kind of needs the, the, the um, speed to have uh, uh, any sort of possibility of actually engaging combat. Yeah. This needs to be smaller. So basically it needs to be an XL300 build. Which requires it to take its time or being very careful on where it goes. Before engaging. Also starts running into slot issues. Ammo is a little scarce on, on the LB20s as well. Alright. Sort of an amusing idea, but not exactly worthwhile overall. I mean, um, this is this comes to the point now where uh, if you really, really want to st stick with this idea, you can fiddle around with it until it fits. But frankly, if it doesn't fit cor somewhat, somewhat correctly the first time around, probably won't work all that well. Uh, SRMs with LB20s work really nicely though for a very nice, very useful brawling setup. So let's get rid of that and instead try something else. Um, now I don't generally like LB10s on on clan side because they feel so very under. Nah, not not under power, but under toned essentially. Something like this. Uh, for a sort of a medium range skirmisher with a, uh, if, if this can also fit a couple lasers. Although, when you start doing this sort of stuff, when, when it, it gets to the point where it's like, well, I am making a fire support mech, then you, you can do that with every single mech in the game. Every single mech in the game can be turned into a fire support mech. That doesn't mean the mech is good. Everything can fill that role. Everything can be pushed into that role because they can fit in, into anything which is actually useful. 
Now that is talking about power perspective. You can feel free to uh, disregard that information if you just don't care about your effective max. But if you don't care about effective max, you probably um, might want to because let's be honest for mass ma majority of us winning is more fun than losing constantly and uh, so so this fits uh, if you look at the uh, i have 10 tons uh, free space um all i have to do is, well i have uh, under 10 slots which is basically probably requires this um so three small lasers uh, three micro lasers three, but something along these lines, a few heat sinks, a few more tons of ammo, uh, maybe a tag in the torso, that could be a possibility, and a um, and, a, and an active probe, and then ammo for the ATMs and heat sinks. I mean, suddenly the suddenly this starts looking f sort of feasible. Let's say I do this, and then I just just start doing the ammo for. Let's put the ammo in the legs, just for amusement. Three tons of ammo should be enough for uh, two ATM-9s. Um, actually can... Plonk that back up, I think. See if that... if I do it correctly. No, I didn't. Nah, that needs to go... Back then. Like this. Drop half a ton of armor, get one more heatsink in. Actually, at this point, uh, come away from there. Um, this could actually be done like so. Which is interesting, because then you could go uh, fair of fibers. And... Uh, do something with three uh, three slots. DM ammo. What? What am I doing? Well, actually, probably need that extra ton of ammo. But we could just upgrade to an active probe. Keep the light tag. And we have exactly the slots for a heatsink. All right, that fits. That w might be actually workable build. Uh, this might be worth testing out. Uh, it is kind of undergunned with the fact that you are firing 18 ATMs uh, when, when you should. I mean, 12, 18, and then you have uh, two LB10s. It's kind of undergunned for being a uh, being an assault mech. But this pushes it into that uh, um, fire support role, which basically everything can do anyway. So yeah, uh, overall this is probably not what I plan to run on this thing. I am still thinking it's going to be the ghost rifles, two ER largest and ER medium. That's just because yes, that is a more of a fire support, but that is very effective fire support at long ranges, whereas this thing is just random hodgepodge of things which is just put together to look like it's a build um all right is there anything else that uh, um another possibility would be to run uh, ultra tens instead of the lb tens and that would push it a little bit uh, more into the territory of being like actually useful so there is that um Can we push this into an Ultra 10 ATM-12 setup? Because this suddenly starts seeming, uh, looking like it could be a uh, workable light active probe in there. Um, let's start thinking ammo, four tons of ammo. Why am I putting ammo in the arms? Because if I lose an arm, I don't want the guns anyway. And uh, as in, I don't want the ammo sticking, uh, sitting around anyways. Let's try three tons of that. Can we do an XL325 on this still? No. Maybe. Just barely, maybe. Uh, 
All right, well, uh, drop half a ton of armor, maybe even more than half a ton of armor. And this is actually looks workable. This actually looks workable. Um, could even do triple laser. Could still have the uh, have five slots over. Uh, could drop enough armor. Make that here um, to get more ammo in here. Hmm. That seems seems possible. Uh, uh, this can also go uh, go away and can be replaced by this just nicely. All right, suddenly we are looking at the more feasible build here. Overall, uh, very very different from uh, the original starting point though. Uh, original starting point being the two ghost rifles, two ER larges and a medium. I think still think that might be the build I want to run on this. Instead of whatever this is, but this this seems more feasible than the LB10s with with bunch of ATM6s because this thing fires 24 missiles out instead of 18 and does so with proper DACA uh, weapons to back it up. Um I wonder if if dropping this would allow running couple, uh, you know, lasers on top of this to give a third weapon system, but it's probably not worth it overall, especially for people who uh, aren't used to having a lot of weapon system systems at once. All right, interesting. Uh, Mall. This thing uh, is the hero mech. All right. So what jumps at me right here, right away? is a uh, good old setup of uh, Ghost PPC. I think this is what we what, what ends up happening with this Mac. Probably a 325 belt. Yeah, might might be even bigger than the 325, huh? Fill up those slots with ammo. Alright, um... Now, uh, this... Oops. Let's keep that, um... Alright. Oh, Screw you. I don't have everything, so... <laughs> um... Well then, well then, yes, uh, there is uh, indeed uh, ghost hit on PBCs and ghost rifles, but you fire PBCs, fire ghost rifles, or the other way around, whichever is correct at the time. Hmm, yeah, I think this is the build we run on mall. A uh, problem, ghost rifles into torsos, you lose a torso, well, you lose a torso very quickly because somebody crits the ghost rifle and the entire torso explodes. But, um, that said, this is quite a bit of damage out of an 80 ton mag and does it at very long ranges. And it still has, um, drop a little bit of armor to get one more ton of ghost ammo in. Hmm, very workable. I like that. I quite like that. As an idea, that seems very feasible. Four energy hard points with... This is also... This is a... Uh, uh, this looks very much like a uh, setup where you run two ATM-12s with uh, four lasers of some kind. Actually, th this looks very much like that, huh? Two large pulses and, and something else in the arms, that depends on, on how much 
free space we have for the rest of the stuff uh, let's check it with an excel 325 again why excel 325 as a starting point because of a 65.8 speed as the starting point that is what i like to see for a, for a spe speed starting point um this is too small however you can constantly instantly see that with the fact that we have um 17 free uh, uh slots and 23 tons almost 20 i mean 18 whatever um so this is instantly can see this is too small of an engine from that all right let's try 325 or 350 15 tons that seems more reasonable suddenly we can start considering what we do with the arms we could technically consider stripping one arm even in this setup go a tag in the other arm and 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 call it call it a day um Mounted weapons, huh? Alright, let's talk ammo. Like... This probably starts getting close to being enough ammo. Alright. So, three tons to play with. Uh, probably four, if we drop a bunch of armor. Um could do uh could do a, a, a light tag in an arm to a ta actual tag in an arm strip the other arm entirely uh smacking more ammo smacking more heat sinks because this is the heat management still sucks a little bit this is very heat very hot belt like this how about we consider it with um where are you Heavy Larges instead. Like this. Um, we drop to standard. We kill armor in the other arm entirely. Smack in a uh, light tag. Uh, some more ATM ammo in the arm and then we can go double a couple more double heat sinks technically do it this way around and the heat management gets really 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 high i admit though that i like i pre like the large pulses better with the atm 12s um all right because uh, um the the way, uh, speed at which the missiles you know smash out into the target it's kind of closer to what large pulse laser um the beam duration is because the duration is 1.09 here um it's about a one second one and a half seconds where it spur spurts out the missiles as to that whereas the heavy large laser beam duration is one and a half seconds that might be too long to keep staring at your target you know that sort of thing although uh for actual uh, damage and range wise the heavy large la large fits better than the large poles here so if we do it this way around how about we smack this to the max and do something really silly like like this Drop half a ton of armor, put in one more heat sink. Heat management starts sucking a little, but this is a lot of damage. Out of an 80 tonner, with uh, uh, which still runs 71 kph speed. That uh, starts getting very interesting, I say. Very interesting. Hmm. All right. The, the build possibilities with mall seem kind of nice from the point of view that you can do a bunch of things. You can do the ghost rifles uh, with PVCs, you can do ATMs with, with larges or with, with lasers in general. Um, something which uh, uh, also pops to my head which needs to be looked at is can we just do this? on what sort of an engine like let's say 350 seems doable all 
And let's fill up some uh, heat sinks uh, before I fill up the backup backup weapons. All right. What do we do for backup weapons? We don't have a lot. We have more tonnage than space again. Let's swap away the um, armor. I mean. This could be something really silly, like just uh, like just small lasers, like so. He four heavy small lasers have no uh, ghost hit. This this is interesting. Heat management starts jumping up way too high, though. Um. Maybe, maybe something else than the four heavy smalls. But this gets very interesting. Uh, another possibility, all of course, is to uh, because the clans have the superior SRM technology. Drop, make smaller engine, and turn it into a full mode brawler. This might require a smaller engine, although uh, could drop the armor out of one arm again. Possibly go ferrofibrous. That doesn't work, right? Because we have only three slots. How about if... Would it work if we swap to a medium pulse laser? Three and a half tons with three slots. Well, we do need ammo, so... Technically, technically it could work like this. Turn it into a brawler. Not so sure that is worth actually doing, but it is a possibility and it actually looks like it could be done. Hmm. Not the sort of brawler, the brawler that I would be running. I think I would rather still drop the uh, missiles and go for four lasers here with a smaller engine. All right, let's look at that actually first. Let us look at that um, before we do anything else here and max that. XL325, I think, is the engine here can we do this with medium pulses we actually can that is most interesting that is most interesting uh, of course at this point this is probably not worth dropping uh, at this point, we are just basically increasing this uh, to the point where we can go like one more ton of ammo. Right, can we go? Can go back up to 350. Drop a half a ton of armor, or even the point nine, and smacking one extra ton of ammo. Although this might be enough ammo already as is, and might be worth getting one extra heat sinking because this heat management is starting to be really, really wonky, really bonkers. Bonkers bad heat management that is. All right, I like that. Yes, I, I still think this is a, a Ghost Rifle PPC mech. That is what I am gonna uh, set it up as and run. But, as a concept, this is where I would probably do the brawler at. LB20s with lasers or, or maybe ATM12s with, uh, with lasers. Something along those lines. Alright. Okay, and then I have one more. I have this bludgeon thing. Bludgeon thing. Alright. Seriously? You have got to be kidding me. This is really bad. Like one random missile hardpoint and 
five energy heart points. Like, it couldn't even be six energy heart points. It had to be five. Of all the dang things, you had to be five energy heart points. So basically, this is just a... Uh, um, put in big energy weapons and hope it works build. Alright, can this go... Yeah, no, it still has the same exact uh, um, engine limitation. So that makes this one very bad. I mean, if this could have been with an XL 400, uh, you could have run something else with this. This and like... Just for the amusement. This is basically the only thing which will make sense here. Uh, you could do four ER larges, but then you can run that on a 65 ton heavy mech. Why would you do it on an 80 ton assault mech? I don't know. Um, so this is probably. I mean, if we can, we can, we can drop this, so it, it's not there to taunt you. Uh, this is probably the only thing which makes sense here. The four PPCs. All right. And that sucks a little. But probably the only thing which makes sense here. Um, I mean, two large pulses with uh, uh, three medium pulses? Not really. And again, this one uh, missile hard point. What, what are you gonna do with one missile rack? You, you spurt out some missiles and the enemy maybe worries about them a little? No. Uh, if you're running. If you're gonna use missile hard points, you want more than one, and then you wanna spread out a lot of missiles in one go. Missiles have spread, missiles have travel time to the target, all of that stuff. You don't want one missile hard point. Anyways, um, yeah, you can go Narek on it. That might actually be pro possibly the only use for it, even. Anyways, um. So yeah, the, this is a little bit of a disappointment. I think this is the uh, one where you run four ER PPCs or four large pulses with some kind of a big engine. Then you run around with that and you uh, do a fire support setup. Because doing anything else is probably not feasible. Alright, but that's my uh, Warhammer 2C theory crafting. Thank you very much for watching. See you folks another time with more MechWarrior Online and whatever else.